Today I'm working on all of this, all of my canning supplies, all of our food storage, more stuff down there. I'm afraid to put the camera too far over because I don't want you guys to see how crazy it is down here right now. We've been working slowly but surely over the last two years, two and a half years, to finish off our basement. We've been working on the last couple of years to slowly but surely finish off the basement, just get everything drywalled and just finished off for more living space, figuring out what we need to do down here, bedrooms, bathrooms, whatever it ended up being. Um, if you've been following around long for a while, you have seen maybe small glimpses of that here or there. But this is behind the finished off basin. Basically we're finishing off about three fourths of it and a fourth of it we are leaving as storage space but most of that is for food storage. You can see the canning shelf behind me. My husband put this up for me either last winter. Yes it was at the end of last canning season. He built these shelves just out of leftover scrap wood and pallets that he had from work that they were gonna throw in the dumpster. He saved them, built me some shelves. I've used, as you can see things have moved around. We have things on top of jars which don't just don't look at it just don't look at it and it won't hurt the way it hurts but I'm gonna get those off to get everything as much as I can put aside we have basically all of our construction materials over here as well everything that we buy when things go on sale that's why this is taking so long is because we're basically trying to be really cheap about it we're buying materials off of overstock shelves and clearance shelves and things like that so we haven't been in a huge rush to get things finished so that's kind of why things are the way they are still but today I want to go through all my canning stuff my food storage get things organized and put up I have shelves here that you guys just saw we got these from Sam's Club me and my husband just got these put together last weekend so that makes this project possible now to be able to get things cleared up I'm hoping that by the end of 2025 this will be just a full-on grocery store we're gonna be moving our chest freezers in here probably getting another refrigerator down here to store things like ferments and things and that is the, the overall end goal but for right now this is still what we're working with I very slowly started kind of putting things on the shelf over the last week or two weeks however long these shelves have been put up um, just in 10 minutes here, five minutes here, I ran down to get something off the canning shelf. I'll pick something up and put it up on a shelf. So the baby's napping and I just want to go ahead and get as much as I possibly can done down, down here today during nap time. So this is very impromptu. It is thunderstorming like crazy outside. So it's a good day to get it done. I brewed up a cup of coffee and I'm gonna do as much as I possibly can today so that during canning season, I'm not scrounging around for jars, lids, rings, pectin, any sort of canning ingredient. So let's get as much organized as we possibly can today. This is what I'm working with right now, a cup of coffee, but I want to have some of my bulkier equipment on this shelf. I want to fill this shelf mostly with all of my empty jars. Um, I would like to have something for all of my rings and all of my lids. And then I would like to be able to put all of my canning ingredients up here. That way, when I'm coming down and I'm canning, I can just grab it. I want to have all of my spices I pretty much only use in canning recipes up here. These are all old jars that I use to hold like my dehydrated things or things like that. Um, that I don't want to can in, but they're still really good jars. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanity. I save all of my boxes because it makes it really easy to carry things up and down the stairs. So I'm trying to put all of my jars back in the boxes and up on the shelf. That way when I'm canning, I can just grab a box of whatever size jars I want. And that'll make things a lot easier for me. So I'm getting them on the shelf like this. Now that this box is empty, I'm gonna put all my rings in here and use this just as something to store my rings at least for right now you don't always need fancy buckets and all the store-bought things a cardboard box works fantastic so this can be what I put my rings in at least for the time being this was a project that I put off because I completely overestimated how long this was going to take it really only took me about an hour or an hour and a half 
and I cannot tell you how good it feels to have this all put together in time for canning. Last season, my grandma gave me a ton of her canning stuff. She's just no longer going to be doing that. Her and my grandpa lived a very similar lifestyle to how Joe and I live, homesteading, raising their meat, uh, hunting for everything else, and growing a lot of their own food. They have a really nice small orchard there, and my grandpa unfortunately passed away, and she's just not needing as much canning stuff anymore, and she kind of wanted to pass it on to me because we were going to use them and enjoy them, and that makes her happy. So I have all these really nice, like limited edition colored jars, and I could tell by the way she talked about these, these jars meant a lot to her, so I'm gonna put these up high on the shelf, and make sure that if I do use them, I'm putting something that I'm just as passionate about in these jars. And I would love to be able to gift her some food that we can in these jars. So because they're very special, I want to make sure that I'm putting them up on the top of these shelves and pull them down for uh, a really special occasion. So that's where those are going to go. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And My grandma gave me so much stuff last season and it was at the busiest part of the canning year for us that I honestly put some of this stuff down here and haven't really thought about it since, since right now and I was just telling you guys how sometimes you can just find uh, an old box and it works good for storing anything you need and it looks like grandma had the same mindset because she has this old flashlight box and she had it full of rings as well so it just goes to show that other people also will store things in cardboard boxes. It doesn't need to be fancy all the time. So that is just the second reminder, grandma and me, we are obviously cut from the same cloth. <laughs> she also gave me a ton of canning lids. So I'm honestly probably not gonna have to buy lids this year, which is fantastic. But I'm just gonna go through this because I'm not sure exactly what all of this is. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I just didn't go through but it looks like a lot of um, equipment, lots of lids, um, some manuals and stuff she has in here. So I'm just gonna go through this box and sort it out. here that they are not used they just fell out of the uh, boxes some of those boxes are opened um, it looks like grandma has just about as good organization skills as I do when it comes to keeping lids and rings so happens to me all the time I open a box I'm in a rush to get something canning I don't want to find a box I know I have an open box somewhere but I'm just gonna open a new box and it looks like grandma and grandpa did the same thing so I'm just gonna take these <laughs> like free tops and put them here. I'm gonna put them up with my canning lids. And then I'll just make sure that I sterilize these before I put them on my jars. And I'll just put those up here with the rest of my lids. We've got a whole box of rings here, which is awesome. And I'm emptying out tons and tons of boxes, which feels good and getting them up on the shelf. You can also buy lids, at least in my area, from the Amish shop, and you just tell them how many you want. They count them out and put them in baggies for you. So I'm assuming that this is actually probably where a lot of those loose lids came from. So same thing. I'm just going to put them just like this in the box with my loose lids and just kind of let them sit. And I'll make sure that I use those ones first before anything else, which is great. I have a volunteer who's going to help as well, so hopefully things will start moving really quickly. Things really started moving at this point just because I had gotten a lot of things up off of the floor and we had way more room to work. 
and I had a much better idea of where I wanted to put everything so it was also really easy to delegate things to London who was very excited to help actually on this day so I just kind of told her what items were going where and she kind of picked them up and put them on the corresponding shelf or in the corresponding spot and we were able to get things cleared out super quickly and it felt amazing to see this start to come together because like I said earlier, we've been working on this grocery store in our basement dream for a couple of years now, and me and my husband are both not afraid to wait to get things that we want or that we like. We like to think things through a little bit, at least when it's a big project like this. So it felt really good to see these shelves up, and it just feels like it's really starting to come together. So let me walk you through so thankful for london's help i wouldn't wouldn't have been able to get this done and like completely finished without her during a nap time so up here we did all of our spices um obviously the lemon pepper i don't use in canning but it's got a home there um but like these specifically the ground mustard um allspice celery seed mustard seed i really only use those during canning season so it's nice to be able to see what i have um, alum is another one. This is what we use to keep our pickles crisp. So I like to have a lot of that on hand. Um, the ginger, or ginger, the garlic, we use a lot of that. And of course, lemon juice um, in our canning recipes. We have all of our lids here. Well, not all of them, but most of our lids here that are still in boxes. I have some sure gel, some pectin in liquid and powder form. We're gonna need a lot of that for jam that we're doing. These are all of the jars that we save and we'll put random things in. So that's what this is. These are more jars. These are small jars. Obviously some quarts here. Just jars in whatever boxes that we had. Some of them are from Aldi. Some of them are um, old jar boxes that they come in from the store. So just whatever we had. That way when I'm canning, I can just pick whatever size I want and bring them upstairs. If I were to be, if I were to get really picky, I could organize these by small mouth and large mouth but I don't do that so there's that down here this is gonna seem really random but I started saving all of our berry containers because if you're following we put in a permaculture orchard and we have over a hundred berry plants that we put in so I started saving these that way when the berries are producing and it's way more than we could ever have. A, we can store them in these containers in our refrigerator. And B, if nieces and nephews or neighbors or whoever want to come get berries, I can just come down here and pick um, some cartons and then I don't have to worry about containers coming back or anything like that. They can just keep them and throw them away or whatever. So we have a big box full. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna need to save these anymore. I didn't realize exactly how many I had, but I've been saving these for a couple of months, so that's there. When we built these shelves, I told my husband I wanted to have one shelf where it was larger on the bottom and smaller spacing on the top. So that's what this shelf is. That I did that specifically so we could fit like my vinegars and stuff, so we had vinegar back there, um, and my half gallon and gallon sized mason jars. I want to do juice this year really bad, so. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping that the shelf can be full of juice and we also save our old glass milk jugs and like large pickle jars and things and we'll use these for something as well. This shelf is mostly equipment, um, stuff for sourdough, those jars, our vacuum sealer which we pretty much only use for meat. I almost never preserve vegetables in that. Um, some strainers, this box is all of the attachments for the meat grinder. And then our jerky making kit, this box is full of wood chips for the smoker. Obviously my roaster pan, I have two water bath canners. One is upstairs, so that's just reserving the place for it. More jars, and then we have rings. Used lids, I also keep my used lids. And I'll use them for like my dehydrated things or whatever. Um, roasting pans, my husband bought me these recently. And they're just really big tote containers and we're gonna be using these when we process a deer or when I want to do like a big batch of something I'll be able to put a lot of tomatoes in here or peppers or whatever and they're like big prep containers which is awesome we have more of our good lid my husband also got me this for Mother's Day it's a 12 quart prep bowl I'll be using this a lot during canning and then down here I have all of my pickling salt and pickling lime 
or canning salt and pickling lime rather and it fits really well in this container that's supposed to be for the freezer but we never use and then obviously just regular canning stuff i didn't have to do much to the shelf other than take things off of it that uh, wasn't supposed to be on it this shelf is now my overflow cleaning stuff down here i make a lot of my own cleaners so i don't keep a lot on hand that's why it looks kind of tiny but kitchen stuff this is kitchen equipment or kitchen things i just don't need in the kitchen every day but we use my harvest basket and then our neighbors always save us their egg containers or rather when we moved in they brought us all of these egg containers and then they'll come get eggs from us and they always bring back the container so they'll bring us the empty container we'll give them another container full of eggs and whenever they will have to buy store-bought eggs or for whatever reason they will bring us their containers so we're always grateful for that so I don't buy egg cartons my neighbors just will either bring them when they buy them from the store or bring us their empty ones and we'll refill them uh, when we have surplus eggs this is just bulk storage food items um, some flowers and whatnot all store-bought items here this might seem silly but this tote is full of nothing but empty jugs I started saving these kind of when I remembered over the course of the winter because we thought we were gonna use these as like little greenhouses or to start seeds in whatever but then during April we had an eight-day power outage and some of our neighbors didn't have water we had a generator so we were okay but they were coming over by us and filling up their water containers and it made it really convenient that i had like two dozen of these milk containers that we could fill with water and they could bring them to their home do what they needed with and then bring back the empty containers and refill um, if they weren't coming to our house they were just using the containers and going to like the school or the police station the fire station and filling them up and then um, when the power outage was over, they brought me back my tote full of milk jugs. So it might seem silly to save these, but it was actually super convenient. And if they didn't bring them back to me, I would have been heartbroken about it. I just would have kept saving them. So these are the plastic milk containers. When we buy like really nice chocolate milk, we buy them in the glass containers. And that's what you saw earlier. I also started saving all of my Sam's Club seasoning containers because when they're empty i'm growing a lot of these herbs myself now and these are already labeled they fit nicely in my pantry so i will just wash these out rinse them out and fill them with my own dehydrated herbs and then i don't have to worry about labeling anything